UK BR News Daily, we're in the building with the long hair Leng man, yeah, my brother, Zen. Yeah, man. What are you and telling me, brother? Well, I don't even usually do interviews as well, you know. I haven't had an interview in the longest. Come so on. Man. Yeah, love, man, what's going on? Love. Yo, I know Hulk's just clashed today. I'm here to clash today. Come we're on. We're ready, man. Ready to go. Are you man. feeling? You ready, yeah? Oh, bro, the hardest thing about this is making sure you don't get on the wrong tube, you get me? Yeah, now of I'm here, bro. I feel like I'm going to rap, do my thing. That's it. I, bro, I love to clash. It's what I enjoy doing more than anything, my bro. So it's like for me. It don't matter who it is, I'm just here to... What's the most hype clash you've done? What you say your favourite clash that you've done? You've done so much, Lord of the Mics, all that. Lord of the Mics, bro, do you know what? A lot of them are different for good for different reasons. We'll tell a lot, we'll tell a lot of the Mics story, bro, because it's not out here. But listen, literally, I clashed Tansky, right? And the weekend after I clashed Tansky, I was scheduled to clash on Lord of the Mics now, right? The reason why this is a good clash is because we got there and we've kind of seen them on off guard, like in the, in the car park, so we've seen these, man. Me, Dialect and P, we see uh, Jaffro, C Dash, and uh, KP, the guy, Clash a guy called KP now. So we see them, they caught them on off guard. So we was like, yo, you, because for us, man, obviously, we're, we're, we clash regularly for years and years. So we had the energy of like the sportsman energy, like, yo, rare, rare, and these men are cool. Then we get downstairs into the basement now, bro. These men come down talking crud now, bro. Like, they're ready for the what's up. I'm like, all right, cool. The energy's flying back and forth. Dialect clashes my man. P clash is C dash now. I'm gonna clash KP now. I'm ready, bro. Anyway, bro, these men are trying to jockey off man's balls, but in the end, bro, the reason why that clash was so sick is because at the end of the clash, right, this brother comes up to me and like, Yo, is that I thought you clashed Tansky a week ago, rare, rare? And I've gone, Yeah, yeah, I did. It turns out that man's whole game plan, bro, was surrounded by around me not being prepared, bro. You get me? But they got it very wrong because I was absolutely prepared, yeah, bro. One week. Come, come to the end of the, the, the third round, man, I had like 332 to spit. And this brother was like, yo, he had to check his phone and all of that. So I've come off cleaner than him, bro. And oh. halfway through, I could see them man's get, he knew he fucked up, bro. Them man, them man prepared on me not being prepared, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So when they realized halfway through that, and that wasn't the case, I could see him break in the middle of the clash, bro. And when I seen his energy, that's when man had to put it on him and then... I'll be honest, when that comes out, bro, I'm very confident it will look like a, a clean 9-0, bro, clean because every lyric was solid, bro, very solid. Oh, yeah, man. That's oh. just one of the stories, man. I got many of them, but... So you saying you're winning this tournament? Brother, uh, I try not to be egotistical, try to be humble, you get me? Try to take a, a buck out of Khabib's... All the comments on that online are saying Zen's winning this tournament. But you know what? It's, it's, it's easy for no. people to say all that, you get me? But I have to actually come and do the work, you get me, bro? You know what I'm saying? So everybody, even this brother, like a lot of men don't know who the brother is or whatever, but I've not underestimated no one, bro. I've come prepared to win every single time. And it's a case of me not beating myself, you get me? Like if I come here and I underprepare and a man beats me because I'm not prepared, that's a dickhead thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? And all the brothers that are like... Rating me and putting pops on my name, but I've gone and fucking let everybody down because I, I was too cocky or too pissed But I've grown up in the game from a young youth before I could grow a beard, you get me? I've been in this thing, so I feel like the mind is sharp and wise now, and the level of maturity is now there where to not feed into people's comments or nothing and just do the work, be prepared, and uh, come and make it, you know what I mean? You're inspiring, brother. I, I can't even grow a beard yet, so. Look at that. You get me? I'm still Asian. learning. I'm still learning. Asian. Asian. I'm ready, bro. Today, I, I really want to put on a show today, man. I, I know there's no one here, but. The fans are going to see. Just so man can see the level, man. I want to bring the level out. That's it. The level's there, bro. What are you telling me? Where are they finding you on the socials and that? At Zen Leads on the Insta, at Zen Leads on the Facebook, at Zen or Double One Free on one of the fan pages, bro. Just general Zen Leads stuff. Try and keep it simple, man. At Zenadine Didan. On uh, Snapchat and that, you get me? Cool. Try to do a bit of work and Zenadine Zidane and that, you know. Cool, cool. That is young yeah. things. Thank yeah, you for blessing the channel, brother. Yeah, come on, man. UK, but yeah, big up Hulk. Look at the movement, bro. He's the only brother out here doing this, bro. You get me? Yeah, so same. we're here now. Hulk's in the tournament. Hopefully, I see this brother near the final anyway, you know what I'm saying? Of course, of course. So we're going to go from there. You see, you trying to smoke Hulk? Yeah, bro. <laughs>